Hey guys, it's Chris from Midwest Elite Air Gun. Today we're going to talk about the Premier Mag by Midwest Elite Air Gun for the Daystate Red Wolf. Hey guys, today we're going to talk about the Premier Mag for the Daystate Red Wolf. This first of its kind, it's a high capacity mag. Uh, we're going to talk about the main benefits and how it works. So, you know, starting about the main benefits here, obviously 29 shots is a 25 caliber, 29 shots for the uh, 25. For the 22, it's in testing right now, but it uh, will be ready before long. Uh, that's going to have 34 shots in the 22. The, uh, <clears throat> it's for the right or left hand, so you can use it on the right side of the gun or the left hand side of the gun, just depending on how you load your ammo. Uh, it will work with slugs or pellets and it will hold up to 13 millimeters uh, of space for your ammo. Uh, we will take it out and show you guys how it shoots, uh, but uh, we're gonna uh, talk about you know, how it works. Uh, how it works here is basically a, it's spring loaded. Um, it's ball bearings. It's very similar to our FX mags that I created. Um, you know, it's with the belt system. Um, <clears throat> it has a rotation here, and you rotate it, you're going to put your, your slug in in the beginning here and load them up. Um, so we'll go ahead and load. This is going to be for the right side of your gun, so we're going to do it face down. I'm going to put some pellets in here, just have some JC, uh, JSBs here. I got some H&Ms and I got some Nelson slugs. Loaded up here with the JSPs, and we're going to go ahead and empty. This is uh, hard plastic here, so it won't let you inject it when it is hard or when, it, when it's empty. All right, so that is done. And so now the other way to load that is for the left hand side. You're going to load it. The difference is, I'm going to uh, turn this up. And the difference is, you're going to do this face up. So the pellets are going to be face up, which is a little bit different than what you've seen in normal mags. And this is just because you're uh, obviously it's entering the gun in a different orientation. There it is, you got it loaded. As you can see, this is loaded for the left-hand side of the gun. Um, when you put it into the gun, you're going to load it this way. Uh, so we're gonna take this out, and we're gonna shoot it, and show you guys how it shoots from the right and left. All right guys, so the, the, one of the important features of this high capacity mag to make this work is on your scope, on your red, Daystate Red Wolf, uh, this ball joint here in the middle of the scope the, where the components are need to either be before uh, the mag entrance or after the mag entrance. Uh, you know, I have mine set up after. That's just where it works best for my eye relief. The, you know, I've, you know, when I was having tested, they've, you know, they had the scope a little bit before. Uh, so it's really what's your preference. However, you need to make sure uh, it's just not setting over the top. The tolerances are so tight in here that it, it just has to be right on spot on uh, so that's one important piece uh, the other thing is on this mag you're going to have indentions here on both sides so you can use it on a right hand okay or a left hand uh, so it's kind of what your preference is now there is a stop right here's your stop you're going to butt it in there and it's just going to you know snap into place uh, so with that is you know it's very stable it's not going to come out or move. Um, make sure, so when we're talking about the ammo being loaded, make sure the face down is for the right side of the mag, the right side of the gun. And go in place, now it's ready to go. Uh, so we're gonna shoot it uh, some rounds here, show you how it works. All right, so it's fully loaded with uh, some pellets here. We're going to load it up. Remember the face down, so that means on the right side. It's gonna slide into place. You're going to push it forward and it's going to stay there. So now it's ready to go. I'm going to turn it on and now it's ready to fire. 
I'm going to probably free preload it here. I'm not going to shoot it at any major target. I'm just going to shoot it at the ground and go from there. And looks like my time went out. There we go. So that's pretty much, you know, I didn't shoot the whole thing, but you guys get the idea. Uh, that's kind of where we're at. Obviously, that's a lot of shots that we just shot through. All right, guys, got it loaded. Remember, the ammo needs to be facing up for the left side of the gun. And, all right, guys, got it. Uh, I'm going to put it in this side. Put it in, spit, and lock it in. Push forward, off safety. Now we're ready to shoot. So, yeah, just run it a few times here and show you that it is capable of high capacity awesomeness and leave it at that.